Junior. I pretty much just walked her out off my computer when I designed the board. Now I'm going to make the stringer, and then from the stringer, I'm going to cut, cut out some styrofoam and, and make a blank. Whoa. So. So what kind of wood is that? This is that. This is like a 16-inch bass. Now, do you have to treat it or impregnate it with uh, resin first to get it to stick good, or does it just, uh, it'll just accept the, so it's not a glue, right? It is a glue. But is it a catalyzed glue? No. Not resin. You don't glue it up with resin. So I don't know what it is. Um, So is it an odd shaped blank that you don't have or is it a totally custom fabrication you can't get a blank for? No, it's a it's just a it's just when I'm making a blank for just because I want to. Oh, I can okay. order it somewhere else, but so how many different kind of blanks, blanks do you regularly stock just for regular rotation? Half dozen? Or do you use big ones and cut them down or what? I try not to because it's a waste of material. You don't end up getting a strong board. There's more waste to throw away. A bunch of reasons, but basically you try to get a blank that's about the size of the board that you're going to make. So do they make them in even foot increments? Is that how you buy them? No, you know, there's, there's all kinds of different size molds and stuff. So even within, like, down to the inch, you can buy a blank? Oh, yeah. Like this company, Blair Foam, has, you know, six foot, six three, six foot five, another six five. So you call them planks? So this. It's the three-dimensional, how deep they are, wide and long? What? The blank is whatever the mold is. Well, I mean, are they, yeah, I mean, but are they kind of like a plank, like wood, and you I, get them? I don't, I didn't, I didn't say plank, I said plank. No, what I mean is, when you buy a plank, like in wood, it, you, you get the three dimensions. So, do they all come in one standard thickness, or, and is it just by width and length, or can you get them in all three dimensions, the blank? You can't cut to make a the blank is a mold that the foam maker has has created. You know, they're expensive to make, and so there's only so many of them. You know, they oh, just okay. try to get you know it spaced out so that they can you know use accommodate whatever anybody might need. Oh, all right. Is there more variations now than in the, in the early days? Was it was it simpler before? Were most of the blanks like just one big large size and you just had to accommodate waste? Yeah, well now there's a lot, you know, a huge variety of different shapes that people ride now. Uh, so. Okay, so anyway, there's the stringer. And now, I'm gonna take the stringer Outside, I'm going to make some cardboard things that match this. Oh, okay.
So that's if so that's. Hang around long enough, I'll show you what I've been doing. This is just finishing up. This will be the final cut on the deck. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Your ventilation's working pretty good. It sucks up a lot of the particulate, huh? Yeah. See how it's not it's, it's not as bad as you would think, huh? Yeah. You know what I mean? Look, it's like it's, yeah, it, it works really good. <laughs> That's why I can. Can you salvage the foam? Do you send it back to somebody that reconstitutes it, or just just throw it away? Huh? Yeah, I got six minutes left on this tape, so at some point I'll flip it. Pardon? I got six minutes left on this tape, so at some point I'll flip it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it. I can get the rest of the set up the other side now. Okay. Uh, set up when you get the beginning of, and then the end. Okay. Uh, So, relative to this cut, how long would it take you to shape a blank in, in, in a manual fashion? Oh, I can probably have already shaped it by now. Really? I'm trying to it here. So, do you used to use graters, like cheese graters, or whatever you call them, the, uh, those planes to rough cut it, and then you'd... Uh... What did you used to use? Now, you got those plane type things too, right? What do you call those yeah, things? Yeah, the... well, I... The common one was called the Skill 100 Power Planner. So that's what you would use to get the big bolt. I don't even think I have mine here. Did some people make mistakes and like trim something no, too thin? No, 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 people no. never make mistakes. What I mean is in the early days, did people find creations because they had already glazed a blank maybe a little too thin and then they said screw it? So they made it anyway, and then it turned out to be a better design. Was it trial and error? So, the 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 board that you're the most famous for is that one.